Okay, so here we're looking at the new admin version of recipes. Um, so here is a Contentful blog recipe. You can quickly set up the Contentful blog. Click this install recipe button whenever you're ready to go. Um, it kind of lists all of the changes that it will make to your site. And then you go down here and there's a couple steps. So the first step is to set up a new Contentful space, space as well as the blog post content type. Um, and then also we can put in the title and body, which is cool. And then here you can kind of see a preview of what it's going to do. So contentful space, which is undefined, so we haven't put it up here. So actually, let's do that first. So do uh, blog space. So you can see it's updating that as we go. And then the type is just hard coded. We don't get to change it, but it's going to you know add a uh, title and a body field, um, as well as the entry, which is also undefined. So we can do that real quick. Like my first blog post, and then uh, the body of the blog post. Yes. Uh, so yeah, so you can see that updating there. Uh, and then also it needs to install Gatsby Source Contentful to pull data from our new Contentful space. Because as you probably know, Gatsby uses source plugins to kind of automatically and uh, uh, very efficiently um, power your, your site with data from different sources. So this step, it installs uh, the package and then it installs the plugin in your Gatsby config, so which is awesome. Uh, doesn't require any configuration. Uh, it actually is going to use the space ID and access token from this contentful space when it's created. And I'll show you a bit later how that works. So yeah, let's, uh, let's install this. So now uh, it's working away. Uh, it'll take a few minutes, uh, well, not a few minutes, but a few seconds to install the package and create the spaces using the Contentful API, and there we go. Okay, now if we look at Contentful, uh, let's see the blog space space that we just created. Click on the content model, um, we have the blog post, you know, title and uh, body content. And then if we go to content, we can see the same blog post that we created. Uh, you know, my first blog post, the body of the blog post, yes, awesome. Okay, so now let's uh, look at the, 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 the post. So if we do um, look at the diff, we can see for the Gatsby config, it installed it and it pulled in the space ID and the access token you need to access that. Um, and then it installed the package. So just as we expect, so then if we run Gatsby develop, we should be able to see the blog post that we created and pull that in. And here we open up the site and there we go, my first blog post. Boom, it works. And here we can take a quick look at the recipe. Um, we're not gonna go too deep into how recipes work, but at a high level, it's just MDX, which is uh, you know React component and Markdown. Um, and through a custom uh, React render that we created, uh, you can actually do full-blown JavaScript. So here is the schema that we've defined. Um, you pass it in contentful space, um, uh, actually the contentful type here with a schema. Uh, so this contentful space, it's pulled from contentful space name, which is a input. So you can define inputs that then show up in the UI. Uh, then down here, you know, you can see the NPM package and the Gatsby plugin. It's a pretty intuitive API. Uh, we've been you know, really pleased to watch like, screen recording other people trying it out and they pick it up really quickly because the idea is that it's a React app development environment for your infrastructure. You know, infrastructure as code written in React. 